With your CIGTV News Update, I'm Shanda Gallego in for Donna Bush. In our Top Story Thursday, the Cayman Islands has joined countries around the globe in celebrating World Diabetes Day. To mark the observance and reinforce the importance of regular health checks, the Health Services Authority and Public Health Department collaborated with the Cayman Islands Diabetes Association, the Lions Club of Grand Cayman and the Lions Club of Tropical Gardens to offer free public screenings, testing for blood glucose, cholesterol, HBLC for diabetes, body mass index and body fat percentage was offered, all offered to members of the public at the Cayman Islands Hospital Atrium on for most of the day on Thursday. Medical Officer of Health Dr. Samuel Williams explains the importance of raising local awareness about the impact of the lifestyle disease. Diabetes is a very serious condition, it's a condition with a high prevalence. There's a lot of person with diabetes or relative with diabetes uh, in the Caribbean and around the world. And the, the theme for this year is because how the family how the family, how this uh, condition affects not only the patient but also the family. Uh, diabetes is a condition that takes a tool on the patients and the family. They have a lot of changes in their in, in the lifestyles, uh, lifestyle and also the usually in, in different types of medications. There are many complications that can arise from having uh, diabetes, especially if it's not well controlled. And this include eye problem, kidney problem, vascular problem. You see people may have lose lose a leg or need to be in, in kidney and dialysis due to diabetes. This year's theme, the family and diabetes, was carried over from last year. It seeks to emphasize the impact of diabetes on the entire family when a single member is affected. The two-year focus aimed particularly to promote the role of the family in ensuring successful outcomes for diabetes patients. In other news, there is less than a week remaining to nominate an exceptional young person for national recognition through the Proud of Them program. So far, the Youth Recognition Scheme has honored dozens of young people. It recognizes youth for excelling in six areas, including academics, career, sports, culture, and community service. Its aim is to create role models for local youth. Youth Services Coordinator James Miles explains how members of the public can submit nominations. The deadline for nomination is November 20, so get cracking. Um, forms are all over the place, gas stations, post offices, police stations, um, school offices. Um, so they're, they're out there, even at fast food restaurants. Anywhere young people are frequented, we make sure that forms are there. And if that doesn't work for you, you can go online and nominate at proudofthem.com. For more information about this youth recognition program, check out www.proudofthem.com. In our final story, two local charities have collaborated to purchase a vital piece of equipment for the Health Services Authority that will benefit its youngest and most vulnerable patients. Team Nolan, in collaboration with the Cayman Heart Fund, donated approximately $12,600 U.S. dollars last week towards a neonatal transport incubator for the HSA. Now, the equipment will be used to ensure safe transportation of premature infants or infants with other health issues to other health care facilities for further treatment and care. The initiative was launched after Cayman Heart Fund discovered that the HSA's neonatal intensive care unit urgently needed such incubator. Team Nolan's pediatric program raised and donated approximately 45,000 Cayman Islands dollars to the fundraising project. Cayman Heart Fund then donated the remaining amount needed to meet the incubator's, incubator's full cost. The new neonatal transport incubator has been ordered and is expected to arrive on the, on the island by the new year. We turn next to a story making news headlines at Radio Cayman. In the past three years, the Cayman Islands has seen the addition of over 1,000 new rooms the Department of Tourism has revealed. This rapid growth has helped the tourism department, the tourism industry rather, reach a new milestone in accommodations. Across three sister islands, the Cayman Islands now boasts of a total of 7,027 rooms for visitors. Director of the Department of Tourism, Rosa Harris, comments that the Cayman Islands has an appealing variety of accommodations of four visitors, 799 licensed properties, representing 9,958 beds. 
Now for more community news, this time from the Cayman Compass. In today's Cayman Compass community feature story, late October saw the return of the Out of the Kitchen event, last held in 2017. Hosted by the Ritz-Carlton Grand Cayman and the Cayman Culinary Society, it recognized excellence in the local culinary industry while raising money for charitable causes. And you can go online to both the Radio Cayman and Cayman Compass websites for more daily community news headlines. Finally, a look at today's forecast for the Cayman Islands National Weather Service. Isolated showers are expected to continue over the next 24 hours as residual moisture associated with a dissipated stationary front lingers over the Northwest Caribbean. Radar images show isolated showers in and around the Cayman area moving southwest. Tonight's forecast calls for partly cloudy skies with a 40% chance of overnight showers. Our temperatures will fall to the mid-70s. Winds will be east to northeast at 5 to 10 knots. And seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. For a look at your forecast, you can go online to weather.gov.ky for the latest forecast, which can also be found on their Facebook page and on the weather radio dial. That's 107.9 FM. And remember, you can download the National Weather Services app to have the latest weather information at your fingertips. That is the latest from us here at CIGTV Television. To see what's on our programming schedule, you can go online to gis.gov.ky and click on the publications icon at the bottom of the page. As always, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook and YouTube channels. And of course, don't forget to tune in to Radio Cayman's For the Record and Talk Today shows, which are always packed full of exciting guests. I'm Shanda Gallego. Thanks for watching. The Esterly Tibbetts Highway three-lane roundabout is ready for drivers. It's time to make sure you know how to use it. First, know which exit you need to take. Pay attention to lane arrows and signs. Make sure you use your signal to change lanes or exit the roundabout. To turn left, you always approach in the left-hand lane and indicate left. To drive straight ahead, you need to be looking out for signs and road markings indicating which lane to use. Get in one of the lanes marked with a straight through arrow. If turning right, you must use the right hand lane and indicate accordingly. To use the roundabout safely, remember these three tips. Know your exit, pick your lane, and signal to make your turn.
you know your mailing address details on your land register must be up to date in order to receive notices on new development which may impact you? Visit Lands and Survey Department to check your mailing address is correct. Did you know that walls, fences located along the road require planning permission no matter the height? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required. Did you know that fences and walls within the high water setback require planning permission no matter the height? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required. Did you know that a trellis structure requires planning permission? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required. Did you know that a deck more than six inches above finished grade requires planning permission? Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required? Did you know that planning permission is required for a sign? Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required? Did you know you should check with the department before leasing a property or unit for a business as a planning and permit application may be required? Join Donna Bush weekdays at 6 p.m. for the CIG TV News Update. Get the latest on what's happening in government on a daily basis. News Update first at 6 p.m. The Royal Cayman Islands Police Service has launched a new service to apply for a police clearance certificate online. To make this process quick and easy, ensure you have digital copies of all required documents readily available. At a minimum, you'll need a copy of your passport photo page. Our website lists the full requirements. If you are using an Apple iOS or Android mobile device, you can use the camera to take photos of these documents while completing your application. After you have read the instructions and are ready to start, Type in the alphanumeric string from the CAPTCHA image and click the green button that says Start Application. If you can't read the letters and numbers properly, click Can't Read Image below the photo to try again. To complete your application, you will follow five simple steps. These are shown at the top of each page, and the blue circle will always show where you are right now. Enter the requested data in each field. All fields marked with an asterisk are required. Each field has some help information and please pay attention to the correct format for dates and telephone numbers in particular. When selecting your birthday, you can also use the calendar feature. If a field has a drop-down list, you can scroll through alphabetically 
or start typing to find the correct option. You will be asked to enter your email address twice to ensure it's correct. This is the address we will use to send you a confirmation email and receipt. Once you have entered all of the required information, click Next at the bottom of the screen. If you click the Cancel Application button at any stage in the process, you will lose everything you've entered so far and be returned to the home page. On this page, answer the questions about past offenses, provide details if relevant, and then click Next. In this step, you will select the type of service being requested and details of the person applying, as well as anyone who might pick up the certificate on his or her behalf. If you select certain options, more information may be required at this stage or later in the process when you are uploading your documents. Finally, select the reasons you are applying and then click Next. If you make a mistake, use the drop-down menu to change the reason or click the red X to delete a line. Remember, if you click the Cancel Application button at any stage in the process, you will lose everything you've entered so far and be returned to the home page. If you need to go back to a previous page to review or change data you already entered, you can use the Back button. You can also navigate through the process using the links at the top of the page. On this page, you will be asked for the relevant digital documents to support your application. On each line, click the Upload icon, select the correct file, and then click Upload. Repeat this process for each document. Based on the information you've already entered, this page will tell you the basic documents required. However, please remember to read the guidance notes to ensure you've included everything for your particular application. You can click the Upload More Documents button if you need to add more files, using the Comments field to briefly explain the additional documents you are submitting. If you go back to previous sections after uploading documents and make changes that affect these requirements, you may need to re-upload your documents. This is the final page before submission. Please review all information provided to ensure it is accurate and complete. You won't be able to change anything on this page, but you can use the back button or the links at the top of the page to return to earlier pages and update any field. By submitting this application, you are declaring that the information provided is accurate and truthful. If you are satisfied with your application, click Proceed to Online Payment. You may need to allow pop-ups and then click the button again to show the payment screen where you will enter your debit or credit card information. The Cayman Islands government accepts Visa and MasterCard and you can use a debit or credit card issued anywhere in the world. Payment will be processed in Cayman Islands dollars for local service and in United States dollars for overseas service. If you have questions about any exchange rate that will be used or foreign currency transaction fees, please contact the bank that issued your card. The Cayman Islands government will not receive or retain your card information. Once your online payment has been authorized, you can view and print your receipt. Click Continue to return to our webpage for details on pickup date and time. If there is an issue with your application and we have to contact you for more information, your application may be delayed. You will also receive a confirmation email with this information and your official receipt. Please remember to bring your passport for identification when you collect your certificate from the Criminal Records Office.